Vincent! Yeah, what's up everybody? All right, so today is gonna be a pretty good video. It's gonna be where should you stay when you come on a vacation, or even if you wanna live here in Saigon. I have some pretty good tips about it. I've looked at a lot of places. I know what places around Airbnb and other websites like this. So we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna explain it all. Hopefully you find it useful. Hopefully it'll be tremendous. Um, if you do like my content and you found this helpful, could you please subscribe to the channel? If not, no biggie. All right, let's go for a walk, guys. Let's do this thing. Right now we are at The View. This is a very, very popular building in District 4. I really, really like District 4. If I wasn't living in Golden River, this is where we would be living right now. Not in this particular uh, apartment because the apartment here, there's so many people here, but it could be a really nice place to, you know, meet people. So I would definitely look at Airbnbs here as well, especially if it's only gonna be a one week, two week trip. I don't know that you need to really get a hotel and jump around the hotels, you can. Now this mall is kind of defunct. There's not much going on here. There is a bunch of food in the surrounding area, as you'll see. But definitely the view is a place to look at on, on Airbnb and other sites like this. A lot of these won't be on Airbnb, they're on other platforms. So you'll just have to kind of search the name, but this one's called The View in District 4. I do like the apartments. They're just, there's always a queue at the elevator. There's reasons for me not wanting, the gold view this is called. There's reasons for me not wanting to uh, live here. But the units were nice and affordable. Starbucks. So if you're thinking about moving to one of these too, the view has, the gold view has a lot of good price stuff. Probably got a lot of people to meet since there's so many people living at it. So it, it might be a place to consider. We have looked at it and filmed it. If you go back, you'll, you'll be able to find it. I want to say two, two years ago. So there is a cinema in here as well, but the rest of the mall is kind of defunct. You've got a Starbucks and a Fuklong. Fuklong had way more people than Starbucks, go figure. But yeah, District 4's location, right over the street, right across the street is District 1. And like right across over there is Boy Bing. And walkability is pretty good too. It's gonna take you a while to walk over to Boy Bing, but there's a bridge that actually has a walkover up here. We might make it all the way to it, I don't know. But as you can see, a bunch of coffee shops right as we just walk right out the place. So, lots of options of things to do here as well, but like, like I think, if you're gonna be on a, a one week trip here, two week trip here, I would probably get an Airbnb at one of these places. The location is kind of good to everywhere. Um, places I wouldn't stay and rent a place, this is depending on the person, especially if you're gonna party and you wanna do all the stuff that, you know, what tourists do, you're gonna to wanna to be around District 1. I wouldn't wanna be out in District 7. I wouldn't wanna be out in District 2. I'd wanna be in District 1 and District 4, would be my opinion. If you're shallow into uh, District 2, that could be okay too, like right over the bridge. That wouldn't pose too big of a problem. And, or you could stay in District 2 in Thouden if you really like, if you wanna hang out with other expats and go to like a lot of Western style places. That's the place is very keen for all that. That's the largest uh, Westerner expat community in Saigon that I know of. There could be others. Uh, as we saw yesterday in the other video, all the Korean expats, most of them, live in District 7, District 2, and in District 1. Gotta, gotta love the guys driving their motorbikes on the sidewalk. Another food foodery here. Yeah, I, I just wouldn't stay too far outside of District 1 or 4. And if you want to stay at a hotel, I don't know about getting like a four or five star hotel. They're a lot of money now. Uh, I can't say that I would recommend dropping 100 bucks a night for a hotel, unless you're going to be spending a bunch of time in the hotel. I find that when I used to come here on trips and when I first got here, I was never in my hotel, especially in Saigon. Other places you tend to use the hotel, but uh, Saigon, there's so much stuff to do and you know, you got nightlife that can go all the way till the sun comes up. So it wouldn't make too much sense to waste resources and time and money uh, 
on a hotel. That is again up to you. You can make that decision on your own. These are just my suggestions. But I, I yeah, with rubber. Huh? I don't know what he said. Watch out for the camera, maybe. It's in my right hand. You'd have to be pretty ballsy to try to take my camera. I think that's what he said. I'll listen when I edit it. Yeah, I would want to get an Airbnb that's like 20 bucks a night, 30 bucks a night. Other places you could get a Airbnb is Vinhome Central and Vinhome's Golden River. I don't know if Golden River's on Airbnb. I think it's on some other platforms. You'd have to check that out. Maybe I'll try to kind of find some info on that to help you guys out. But I think most of you are smart enough to take initiative and find these things on your own. It's really nice out today. It's 94 degrees. It's not particularly too humid. It's dry air, so it's not bad. It's a bank, bank teller. There's even massage places. There's even a dentist. There you go. You need some emergency dental work? Boom. Let's see what else. What else we got popping? Now there's another building up here. I forget the name of it. The Grand Riverside, I want to say. We almost got an apartment at Grand Riverside. It was very close, but I thought the price was too much. They wanted 17 million for like a tiny one bedroom. It was nice, it was brand new at the time. The building had just finished. But I thought 17 million was too much, so then we ended up going with Golden River. I don't know what they rent for now, but the units were nice. They're brand new, there's a pool. The pool's not outside though. It's a weird setup. I don't know why they didn't put it outside. Maybe they didn't have the land. But it's actually on its own floor, and it's very shallow. It's like two feet, three feet. It's more like a kid's pool, but it is pretty big. That's the only downfall. That was another downfall. I wanted a proper, a proper, a proper swimming pool. Yeah, Grand Riverside. This is nice too. It's got a Vinmart right in the bottom. It could be an option for Airbnb too. I just think the location here is pretty good, especially if you're taking Grab. It's pretty good if you're walking. If you're a real big walker like me, you'd probably want to stay in District 1. If you're going to party in Boivin a lot, I would recommend staying by Boivin then. Not on Boivin, absolutely. Do not stay on Boivin. I don't know how expats do that shit, but there's some dudes that like live there. There's no way. I like to sleep when I want to sleep. You're not going to be very achievable at that if you go to uh, a hotel on Boivin itself. A lot of people like to do it. I can't say I'd recommend it. There's plenty of hotels around it that uh, you can get rid of the noise. And Yeah. Definitely, if you're going to party, stick around Boivin, in my opinion. Again, I'm not an expert. This is just my opinion from a guy that's been here for years and has traveled here quite a few times. So then we got Millennium over here, which is also a big one. We'll go check that out. I'm still not sweating yet. I think the walk, ah, it's pretty cool, right? How they live in these like handmade shacks. You get to see poverty right up against money. It's kind of unique. My goal is to get into one of these houses and film with the family and like eat a meal and drink with them. I'm gonna try to set that up pretty quick. And my plan for doing that is to just take a camera and walk around over there. Usually, somebody will invite you for a beer or something. So, look out for that video. I don't know when I'm gonna try to do that. Let's see what we got up here. It's just a, a beautiful little area, to be honest with you. I know that didn't look particularly beautiful, but if you go and walk over by the lake, the river, it looks really nice. We'll do a little river walking at some point. You got a view of Texaco. though. You can get some really beautiful views here, though. If you're, if you're renting a motorbike or if you're taking Grab, it's a pretty darn good location. And I think you can get some pretty affordable, good Airbnb or Airbnb-like app deals here. But yeah, I wouldn't want to be in any of the outer districts 
if I'm being a tourist here. Unless you don't want to do anything touristy and want to really embed yourself in Viet Vietnamese culture and be in more areas where there's less English spoken, then you sure go for it. But I'm making this for the typical tourist and most of you guys are going to want to be doing tourist things. Here's a pagoda. And pretty well kept. Little pagoda hanging out. Little pagoda. And my tummy is rumbling. What time is it? Well, it's because it's almost, it's almost meal time. Four o'clock. So I do get hungry an hour before I eat. It's the only time I get hungry with one meal a day now. I'm not hungry in the morning, not hungry during the day, anything like that. If you have a lot of possessions with you that are expensive, I think the Airbnb would be relatively safe as well. This is when a conflict of interest would come in with a two and a three star to a four and a five star. At least make sure there's a safe in the hotel so you can put your shit in the safe. I mean, it's not gonna protect you 100%, but it's gonna give you a pretty healthy blanket of safety. This is why when I travel, I usually stay at a place with a safe because I have all my camera gear, I have my laptop, I have a lot of stuff with me and I don't want it to get stolen. That's kind of cool. Never even realized that. I've walked this so many times too. Now it's starting to get hot, buddy. That heat's packing on. I particularly like the, uh, what they call the rainy season here, which really isn't a rainy season. It just randomly rains during the day a few times. Well, not much longer than uh, 20 minutes usually. It's kind of like Florida rain. It's not a deal killer. Man, that guy's got his arm all the way in there. And this recycling machine. No way, dude. Whew. Recycling cans. Yeah, it's just a, it's a real pretty area. If you go over on this other side, it's pretty, you'll see. I don't know if that'll be in this vlog or the uh, cost of living video I'm gonna shoot after this. Here's a VinFast. VinFast is electric scooters. I've not personally ridden one, but I have heard good things about them. I mean, you, you never have to pay for gas. Vin Homes charges you an extra 100k to have a charger. Another food place. It's like Hot Pot. Boise's already drinking some beers. Must be an early day off work. Oh, man, that hammer. The whole Three cases of Tiger already. <laughs> I love it. It's part of the shit I love about Vietnam. So now we're into what we call the other area. It's kind of split by those two. And there's a potential couple other spots you could stay here that I think you would really enjoy. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. I would, District 4 is what I would be down in District 1. Maybe in the, the right when you get into District 2. Or if you want to be in an all-western climate, Thowden in District 2 is also a possibility. This will take you on over to District, more District 4 than on to District 7, if you choose. And there's lots of eateries, like there's western style stuff down here. So it's a pretty good location, in my opinion. Kind of want to have a vote in the comment section. So this is the part where I'm going to ask you to comment. Where would you like to see me go? The Chang? Hanoi? Da Nang? Choose out of those three. I might just impulsively go to the Chang tomorrow. Flights are so cheap again. They're like 20 bucks for a flight. Because a few people in the Discord live there and they say it's, it's pumping again, so. I would kind of like to go there and film it and see if it is, and then be able to advise you if it's worth you know going to when you're here on your trip. Because if it's pumping again, 
it's fun. If all the stuff's open. Last time I was there, it was like, I pretty much said I'd never come back if it was in a situation like this. Still, there was nothing to do. You had very few places open, maybe five. Five or ten places. Xin chào. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> Cute kids. Those are probably entry level, and then there's some drinking places too. Those are probably entry level college kids. More than likely. Because school is still in. Oh no, it's 357. They didn't have their high school uniform on. Usually kids in uh, high school still, they'll have on their uniform or whatever. Uh, lots of drinking places, man. Impressive. AE Food and Beer, this place looks like a fun place. I forgot all these temples were here. This one looks Japanese almost. Pagoda. Pentagram? I don't know what's going on with that. Star? I don't know. I don't know what this place is. It looks like Jesus now. Some kind of center. Looks yeah, it looks uh looks Catholic maybe. I'm not a religious guy, so I don't know shit about this stuff. No religion for me. This place is also all over, even TripAdvisor. This place, I looked at a few units here too. Super viable place as well. This was on TripAdvisor. This, uh, I think it's Rivergate. But you can look this up on TripAdvisor now. I think a few people have them listed on TripAdvisor. Also, nice place to stay. I would recommend that uh, you could Airbnb here as well. No problem. So it'll get you the name on this one so you can look it up and you'll have an address. People keep asking for Google pins. I'm gonna start pinning to the popular demand. But here you go, if you wanna look it up. Rivergate. All right. Nice little underpass here, a little bit of shade. Get yourself a little drink. It's a foot massage up here. <laughs> and then we're almost done. We're almost to the end of our journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some context. Uh, I didn't really focus on hotels because uh, I haven't stayed at too many hotels. I did when I got here. Oh, you could stay in Funam as well, the district right next to District 1 that has all the love hotels. Maybe I'll put a link to that and you can take a look at that. That's also a viable option. I think you can find some affordable hotels there. I did stay at a hotel there when I first got here, which was pretty good. So, let's see. But yeah, it, it all depends on your budget. If you want to do five star, they're going to be 100 bucks up per night. Four star, I think, is around there. 65 to 100. And then two to three star, you can get pretty affordable. I think 15 to 25 bucks is what it was. Hotels have gone up a smidge due to uh, inflation. So this is the last place I would recommend. Millennium, a lot of people do do their, uh, do their two week stay at this place. I looked at so many units here. We almost rented a unit here as well. Very nice place. Can't say enough good things about it. I was told by a few people they have some issues for, you know, long-term users. But as far as uh, short-term users go, not a big deal. All right, guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comments and I'll try to answer you as best as possible. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.